Welcome to the Momxiety Club podcast. I'm your host, Tori Levine. Momxiety is a real thing for every new parent. And when you add in a chronic illness, food allergy, or other challenging circumstances, it can become downright isolating. And that's why the Momxiety Club is here for you. Each week, we'll discuss all things motherhood. So join me and let's get rid of this Momxiety together. Hi, Mama. A quick um, jump in here before the episode starts. Just want to give a little bit of background on this. While I was on my podcast hiatus, I was recording things and I always wanted to share this, but I was a little bit, I don't know, scared to. So this was recorded in April 2021 while I was having an anxiety attack because I wanted it to be able to share that with you so you can kind of see or hear one of the ways having an anxiety attack can sound like and get an idea of that Um, because I've had a lot of people who are unfamiliar with kind of what that is and what that means. So this was in April of 2021. There's some time relevant things in that because it was around the time I was getting vaccinated and more adults, younger adults were able to be vaccinated in kind of pre-spring, pre-summer when uh, the world was, or at least around me in Pennsylvania, was kind of going back to quote-unquote normal. And we were stuck in this place because we have kids that, especially a child with a chronic illness, we weren't ready to like go back and do that. Now it is November. This is airing November 11th, 2021. And so I find it was kind of a good time and relevant again to share it because yesterday my oldest got his first vaccination. So hooray. But my youngest is two and is still too young to be vaccinated. So there's some still, there's still some real parallels in that, in that we still have a child who's unvaccinated. What are, how are we going to handle things? It's not like the world is not our oyster yet. We're not going to go all over the place. Um, so that is one of the reasons. And the, yeah, the other one I said is, you know, kind of, you can hear one of the weird random triggers that gave me an anxiety attack and kind of where my head went during it. Um, okay, here you go. So I am having a anxiety attack (laughs) because I went out today and I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. I am, first off, I put a question on social media of who, um, does anybody else have anxiety attacks? at the library uh, because I totally do now. And I don't think I did ever before, but I want to get all the, and these are, I'm going for kids books. I want to get all the kids books. Like every single one I see, I'm like, oh, I need that one. Oh, we have to get that one. And I think part of it is because you know, I, we don't go weekly to the library. We don't go to the library classes. Um, I don't have my youngest there picking out books with me, which I did with my oldest. And it's like, oh, well, we have to get all these. And, oh, if he doesn't like it, that's okay. I'll return it and I'll find some more. But I go like, I want these all. And then I want to go home and I want to sit and read them all. And I know that that's not going to happen uh, like I want it to. But so then at the same time, while I'm seeing all these books and they're like, oh, well, these are just in the new section. What about all the books that I want to see that are and that I want to get and the topics that I'm interested in getting for him because he'll like trucks or he'll like the ocean or this or that. And I'm not even in that area but I've already spent 20 minutes in this area just looking at the new books 
and I've already been away for over 30 minutes, which is so long compared to anything that has ever happened in the, uh, the recent year plus. And then I go, okay, well, I'm going to go. Also, I have to go run to the grocery store. So that, and I, li- I just sent my husband a message and I said, uh, I'm having an anxiety attack right now because he asked me to pick up something extra. And I said, no, I'm still at the library having an anxiety attack, trying not to get every single book. Um, and he said, well, you know, if you want to just come home, come home and I'll run errands. And I was like, or he said, if you want to stay out longer, we're fine. Um, and I said, no, it's that I want to come home. That's why I'm having an anxiety attack because I'm freaking out that I'm gone. And that is something I want to talk about, which I just listen. And I know I've mentioned Melina Palmer before, uh, from the brainy business podcast. Uh, she is a behavioral economist and I listen to her podcast because it's psychology and it's. Uh, business. So two of my top things to learn about and loves. And, but a lot of the concepts are just human behavioral con- um, behavior concepts. And the thing that she talked about just yesterday was the familiarity bias. And I've been reading some other things too, as well as talking about, you know, how this pandemic, it was like people with anxiety it is like, they were cool for a little bit because everything was locked down, but then every single stage of the reopening and the next phase and the next phase and life going back to normal where for a normal person, yeah, everybody is experiencing some anxiety, but for a, you know, person with anxiety, it's tenfold, if not like a hundredfold. And so part of that familiarity bias uh, that Melina talked about, and also that I've been reading about with, for people with anxiety, is because we've been used to this, like, locked down, at home uh, protection. And now as we're starting to venture out, it's the unfamiliar. Our body is, our brains are saying, this is not normal. We're not used to this. No, 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. And I definitely am feeling that (laughs) right now. And I just wanted to share and talk about a little bit because I know the reopening even last summer was really challenging for moms in the Momsiety Club. And we talked about that a lot. Uh, And now with vaccinations and things more and more and more, you know, being able to go out that familiarity bias is kicking in and even adding more to the normal anxiety that us moms with anxiety have. And on top of that, we are also having to figure out how we are handling our lives going back to normal while our children are not able to be vaccinated yet. And while it's still this big up in the air for them. Uh, I know I, I just got my second shot. So in one and a half weeks, because it was a couple days ago, I will be fully vaccinated, you know, but it's like, what do we want to do still? I, and my sitters, they work in healthcare, so they have been vaccinated for a while. My husband is a first responder. He has been vaccinated um, for a while, uh, but it's like still, I'm. it's me and the kids who are not, 
So we're still staying low. And now that I am, still, I need to protect my kids. And just because I'm vaccinated, it just doesn't change everything. Uh, I've had questions about, you know, going on a plane and uh, different things like that. Now, we, our personal decision was we did not go out to eat. We never went to a restaurant for the past year. We did takeout. Um, and we are possibly going to go eat outside at a restaurant. And this last week, my husband was at a conference, and it was the first time he ate at a restaurant in over a year. And he said it was weird. Um, but I have said I'm not going to take my kids on a plane. I'm not going to do these other, like, more high-risk, I did, like, air quotes, with that, I don't know that I should do air quotes, but more high risk things because I still have to worry about my kids. Just because I'm vaccinated doesn't mean that I can't get sick and I can't take it to my kids. There is a, yes, a far less likelihood that it will happen, but I still want to do everything I can to protect them. And so that's even more of that. So we're in this spot right now between going back to normal and being completely shut down with some people vaccinated and some not. And time will tell. We will see. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about that Um and see how you're feeling. Please share. Um, you can go to the website, uh, momsietyclub.com or join.momsietyclub.com and leave a little voicemail there and tell me how you're doing, how you are handling things uh, with going away from that whole safe lockdown at home, things starting to go out more. Um, I'd love to hear how you're doing, how you're, how you are managing your anxiety right now with everything. Um, now the, the great thing is that we are, you know, it's almost May or it's May here. I guess it depends on when this airs, but access to the mom anxiety club, weekly one-on-one -on -one sessions with me to target certain aspects of uh, movement that you would like to work on, to talk. A lot of my clients say it's like their therapy session as well, where they get to exercise and have their therapy at the same time. Now, I'm not a therapist, so that is just, I am quoting them. But uh, you can head to join.momsietyclub.com, and I would love to support you. You are not the only one with anxiety. You are not alone, no matter how alone in your worries you may feel. I'm here too. I've been there too. Reach out via email or on social media. Reach out to a friend who has a child who may be facing other challenges. Share that you have anxiety too, and just know that you are not the only one. I am here to support you. And the more we normalize and talk about these feelings, the easier it gets. For more information about working with Tori or joining the Momsiety Club, head to join.momsietyclub.com. There you'll find information about Sneeze Proof Your Pelvic Floor course, as well as the Momsiety Club, where you'll get access to two monthly support groups with other moms just like you, as well as exercises and a chat about the monthly theme to help manage your anxiety. The Momsiety Club podcast is not intended to take place of medical advice or therapy. If you are in crisis, call your local emergency number or the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1-800-273-TALK.